Lauren Browning arrived at her career as a stone sculptor through a truly unique path. Having earned her doctorate degree in geology, she worked as a research geochemist on important projects for NASA and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. But all the while, a desire to create fine art was chipping away at her original career plans. And in 2007, Lauren Browning took the bold leap to begin working full-time as a stone sculptor. I, I started taking uh, stone carving classes and I fell in love with the process of carving the stone and I just never stopped doing it. Most of the time I use a process called uh, direct stone carving to make my pieces, which means that the entire time I'm working on my sculpture, I'm also working on the design. My pieces are they tend to be very ornate, and I like to think of my work as being truly three-dimensional. I'll come out at night and get a flashlight and look at my piece and see how it looks in a totally different light. I'll get up on a ladder and look down at it. Much of what I do is think very carefully about exactly how I want that angle to be, or that line, or those sets of lines, how I want them to intersect with each other, and how I can achieve a sense of flow overall. And uh, it's, a, it's a slow process that unfolds while I'm sanding and grinding and looking at it. I used to sit in a room um, and make computer simulations of water rock gas reactions, the physical environment of Earth later. And I think in some ways I do a similar sort of thing with, with my sculptures. I, I find a curve that I find interesting and I develop the curve, maybe some lines, but I need for it to be three-dimensional. I need for the whole thing to, to work as a whole. And the intersections of the curves and the lines are points of great interest to me. How do these meet? I mean, there's a, a creative part of me that is involved in, in developing the curves and selecting them, but how they fit together into a, a three-dimensional form, I think, utilizes some of that um, analytical ability that I have. I think that the, the designs are definitely influenced by what I love. I'm a Texas Hill Country girl. I love the shape of the hills and much of the data um, that I have is from looking at the limestone hills um, around San Antonio and Austin where I've spent most of my life. I love sculpting. I think it uses all the aspects of my mind that I have to, to offer. Um, my creative side, my analytical side, um, and at the same time, because I become so focused on my work, I kind of get into a meditative state that is just um, intoxicating in a way. And, um, you know, I have to go out there and work on my stone sculptures.